हाउ टू कैलकुलेट मिड पेरेंटल हाइट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वाई इट इज कैलकुलेटेड इट इज कैलकुलेटेड मिड पेरेंटल हाइट इज कैलकुलेटेड टू सी वेदर द एबनॉर्मल स्टेचर ऑफ द चाइल्ड इज रिलेटेड टू पेरेंट्स वेदर इट इज जेनेटिक और वेदर इट इज पैथोलॉजिक दैट इज वाई वी कैलकुलेट मिड पेरेंटल हाइट टू कंपेयर सो दैट वी कैन सी इन विच सेंटर दैट हाइट लाइट एंड इन विच सेंटर द चाइल्ड हाइट लाइट बिकॉज इफ द चाइल्ड इज रिलेटेड देन इफ इट इज जेनेटिक देन द चाइल्ड हाइट विल बी इन विद इन टू स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन ऑफ मिड पेरेंटल हाइट That's the scene. Within two standard deviations, child height would lie. So, now how to calculate mid parental height? Mid parental height is uh, calculated as it is an average between mother's height plus father's height divided by two. But there's a difference. If the child is a female. If the baby child is a female, then we will add. Uh, no, if the child is a female, we will sub subtract fourteen centimeter. If we are taking these height in centimeter, fourteen centimeter from father side, and five inch. If uh, we are taking these in in inches, if they are we are taking these height in inches, then five inches from father side. So I am taking these in centimeter. So I will subtract fourteen centimeter from. father's height then i will put the value in the formula it will be mother's height plus father's height minus 14 cm or 5 inches if it is in inches divided by 2 now to calculate mid parental height if the boy is a if the child is a male then we will add 14 cm to mother's height or 5 inch to mother's height depend upon the unit we use so in this case we will add 14 cm to mother's height so it will be mother's height plus 14 cm plus father's height divided by 2 and when we take this then we plot this in the growth chart of height which i will do in the next step, uh, in the next video and you can watch them these are growth charts they are age specific and unit specific and they are specific for what they calculate like these both are stature charts length because uh, from 0 to 2 years it is length and then height these are height charts these are weight ch weight charts from 0 to 2 years and from 2 to 20 years then we also have charts for head circumference these these charts are for the head circumference and they are also gender specific for male and for female okay so first we will deal with the height charts and we will also know we will also study what mid parental height is used for so they both these both above these are height charts and uh, this is from a boy this is for a boy who is uh, 0 to 2 years who is whose age is between 0 to 2 years so it depends uh, first of all 50th centile is the average centile average rate a child who is, is between 75 and 25 centile is normal and below 75 uh, above 75 or below 25 it is abnormal and a, a child who is above 95 or below 5th centile this is short stature and above 95 is large stature or long stature tall stature these are the things 50 is average the range is 25 to 75 for normal below 5 is short stature above 95 is long stature or tall stature these are the things for stature charts now how how do we plot this chart uh, let's say i have a 1 year old child who is 1 year old and his height is calculated and it is almost um 
हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर नो हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर इज टू मच ओके इट इज हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर नाउ दिस इज द एज एज इज प्लॉटेड हेयर एंड द यूनिट्स आर प्लॉटेड हेयर हाइट एंड देर टू यूनिट्स यूज इन दिस चार्ट दीज आर इंचज और सेंटीमीटर यू हैव टू सी एंड सिंस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट सेंटीमीटर सो आई विल टेक सेंटीमीटर एंड फ्रॉम सेंटीमीटर आई विल ग्लो गो हेयर एंड फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व मंथ्स आई वुड गो अबव सो आई एम गोइंग अबव सो हेयर आई विल प्लॉट द फर्स्ट चार्ट इट इज वे अबव द नाइन्टी फाइव सेंटाइल हाउ डू यू नो आई एम नॉट कंपेयरिंग हेयर आई एम कंपेयरिंग इन दिस लाइन इन दिस लाइन ऑफ ट्वेल्व ईयर्स दिस इज द फिफ्थ सेंटाइल विच इज एवरेज एंड दिस इज द नाइन्टी फाइव सेंटाइल पॉइंट विच इज टू मच एंड इट इज टू 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 मच then it is very tall stature something is very abnormal in this one year old child now i have another one year old child whose height is 55 cm so i will also calculate this from 55 cm here and it comes here now it is below this point of fifth centile this is the fifth centile's point so it is this was tall stature this is short stature way way below fifth centile now i will also now calculate a child and uh, plot a graph for a child who is one year of age and whose uh, height is 75 cm now i will go above from one year of age and here is the 75 cm and it meets here now it is right on the point of 50th centile 50 centile here at this age these centiles points are these so i compare with these points in these areas so this is the 50 centile point now this is extremely average height now this was the height uh, plotted for a uh, infant now i'm talking about age above 2 years now i have a boy who is 9 years old his height is um 95 cm this is cm this is inches so this is 95 it will go here he is 9 years old then go above then there 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 to almost yeah now 9 years old child who is way above the fifth centile point where is the fifth centile point here go 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 this this is the fifth centile point He is a very short stature. Now I want to know whether it is genetic or not. To deal with and to know whether it is genetic, I will calculate the mid parental height of mother and father. Since this is a boy, we will add fourteen centimeter because I am plotting everything in centimeter to the uh, mother's height. Then, what will we get? I got um, almost one sixty five centimeter. One sixty five centimeter. Now this is this plot. Uh, uh, this graph uh, limits up to. 20 years so i will use this 20 years to assume that because at 20 years we reach maximum height that we have to attain in our life so i am thinking about a child who has genetic makeup of his mother and father and now he is 20 years of age normally uh, and he has genetic if he follow the genetic makeup of his mother and father then where his height should lie in which centile at 20 at uh, 20 years of age he has 165 cm height so it is here no it is here sorry this one now it it lies lie it it lies extremely at the fifth centile extremely at the fifth centile and so it is uh it lies between 10th and 5th centile and almost at 5th centile they it means its parents also have a almost short stature so this can be related to the child because now we will compare this child this child is follow following which center it is following no center it is following it way below the 5th centile this is the 5th centile but if it is uh, if the child stature is related to his parents he should be between two standard deviations of this centile 5th centile above or below now This is way below, so this is not related to his parents' genetic makeup. Because if the child was lit, his stature was related to his parents' genetic makeup, then he would have been between twentieth uh, or uh, uh, a little below the fifth centile. Mostly between fifth and tenth centile, on average. so this is this baby is not related his stature is not related to his parents genetic makeup this is a pathological condition i'm sorry i don't know the exact values two standard deviation from each percentile once i learn it i will tell that in the next videos about the exact
मीनिंग ऑफ द टू स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन फॉर्म इच पर्सन टाइल थैंक यू